were you smiling with this? Scale of 1 to 10, <laughs> what are the chances he plays next season? On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm already over Tom Brady, a 1,700. <laughs> this is ridiculous, Skip, but oh, I told that you're already I, over I'm him. over okay. it. I, I'm I over get it. that. I get you, that. Yo, you get it too, huh? Okay, but two. back to Denny's question, Jenny's question, it's a 2? I'm going to give it a 2. Okay. A, a, a two to a come two, back. Two to okay. come back. Right. He's coming back. Because right. I look at it like this, Skip. The things that drove him away from the game yeah. are still in place if he were to try to come back from the game. He mentioned the people that's been so supportive of him over yeah. the last decade, mainly his wife and kids, will they not need any more support if he were to come back? So what changed? I mean, the man been retired a week. Normally... We let this thing go, you know, you ask him three, uh, two months from now, three months from now, well, you never say never. Hell, we get 72 hours from his retirement, uh, his announcement, and he's already talking about never say never. For a guy that didn't want a farewell tour, for a guy that didn't want that kind of attention, he seems to be wanting a lot of attention now. You could argue that. There ain't no arguing. Okay. Will you just have a healthy, dis we're having a healthy discussion, and I think you're in agreement with me. He's starting to look like the other guy last year that dominated the offseason. Mm -hmm. The one, the guy that you, the one, he only got one Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. The guy who's seven and nine since that one Super and Bowl in playoff games, and her, one and four in NFC Championship All games. that being true. Yeah. And now you're a guy, a guy that, ooh, he just likes to be in the back. He's uh. nothing like the other superstars. He doesn't want the attention. He doesn't want a farewell tour. He just wants to announce it on his own terms. I get that didn't happen. Someone leaked the information. But now all of a sudden, 72 hours after he makes the announcement, now he's talking, never say never. I get it. And that's what I said the other day, Skip. There's going to be a lot of back and forth. Even when I made the announcement that I was going to retire, I was still training. I was still running. I was still lifting. I was still eating as if I was going to go play. And then it came time for, you know, training. The day we were supposed to report the training camp, I'm like, hey, I ain't got no bags back. I'm good. Were you good I was, on that day? I was good. I was good. But see, Skip, it was different for me. Tom still likes the meetings. You know, to this day, I still don't like meetings. <laughs> Do I? Thank you for revealing that publicly. Somebody meets by himself now, but go ahead. I don't yes. like the media. Tom loves those kind of things. I miss the interaction with the guys, Kip. But look, Tom, come on, bruh. Enjoy life. I just thought, wasn't he, on, wasn't he throwing a, a football on jet skis to David Beckham's son? And some, I don't even know where they were. Parts unknown. Yep. I thought I was in a comedy that said parts unknown. Nobody knew where Tom Brady mm -hmm. was. Wasn't even on the map. And already, Skip, he's talking about never say never. Come on, Tom. I just don't believe the things that probably advanced his retirement, I don't believe these things disappear in six months. So that's why I'm saying it's a two that he comes back. Okay. That's actually pretty big of you because I thought you were going to go like less than zero chance. <laughs> but, but if you give it a two, you give it some chance. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. You give it a one-fifth chance, two out of ten, right? Right. Especially within the first year. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're within the first week, man. We're within the first 72 okay. hours. <laughs> All right. I'm going to first speak my heart over my head. Okay. My heart is screaming at me. Hey, he just came to the realization that, that what you were saying, what I was saying right. from the start is what he's feeling mm -hmm. now, which is, well, what are you doing? Right. What do you mean? Because you want to talk about all-time blindsided when my source at the Bucks first told me we're going to be pleasantly surprised and then amended it to shocked if he comes back. Right. I was beyond shocked because I did not see that coming. Right. All I know is that Pro Football Focus, your favorite website, graded his season this season, this past season, as far and away the best season in pro football. They okay. say he should win MVP. He's not going to win MVP. Right. Aaron Rodgers is being a runaway. Mm -hmm. But my point is, Brady knows in his, his heart of hearts, he was pretty good this year. Right. You could argue he was very good this yeah, year. Yeah, he was. They beat Philly in a playoff game. No big deal. He was pretty good in that game. Mm -hmm. And then against the Rams, he got off to a slow start, but he roared back to life, and they scored 24 unanswered points against the team that is favored to win the Super Bowl mm -hmm. to bring it all the way back to 27 all. Correct. In the fourth quarter, he threw for 1-2-5, 125 yards passing in the fourth quarter. 
it was obviously not his fault that they had a blitz blunder at the end that I still can't get in my head. Right. I, I can't compute it because I don't know what they were doing. People are calling a zero blitz. It, it's mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. cover one because Antoine Winfield is still standing back there. Mm -hmm. But obviously, Cooper Cup's running a decoy route. Sean Murphy Bunting had him in the slot and, and just blitzes off the slot, untouched, unblocked, and just cold stops and says, okay, go ahead and throw it. Right. Don't, don't I, I don't know. So Brady knows this mm -hmm. in his heart of hearts that they were right there to be the team that's favored to win the Super Bowl. Okay. So if, if they go on, who knows what's going to happen. They're going to be favored. Okay. If, if they got to this point, they they're going to be favored. Yes. All right. So is he, by, by 44-year-old standards, completely healthy, about as healthy as you could ever hope to be at 44 mm -hmm. playing professional football? Yes. Yes, he is. As far as we know, there's nothing going on. Correct. Did he have any concussion issues this year? Not to my knowledge. Right. He's had them in the past. I believe he had one at Chicago going back to the right. first year in Tampa. Mm -hmm. Remember that horrendous Thursday night, the, Four. this game? Yes. Right? He lost I think track of Khalil the Khalil Mack rang his bell. He did. And I, I think that they had to sweep that one under the carpet because right. they never even listed on the injury report. Well, they couldn't sweep it under the carpet from Giselle because she saw it. <laughs> she saw it. I don't know if it computed for her, but, but she saw what happened. Right. Okay, so my point is, you, you can you can undercut this. You can pick it to pieces all you want, and I I welcome all that. And you well could be right, but this is Tom Brady going human on you right before your very eyes, where he's always so buttoned up, so planned, so plotted, mm -hmm. so so calculated that it seemed like he'd been planning all year. This is going to be it. I'm not going to tell anybody. Yes. I don't yes. want a farewell yes. tour. Yes. This is just yes. going yes. to be it. Yes. And when it ends, however it ends, I am gone because I've made up my right. mind and my heart. I'm done. Right. And that's how it came across to me. Well, then why so quickly? You, you know, he told Jim Gray before the, the podcast right. started, team me up with this one right. because I want to throw, I, I want to drop a little hint out right, there. I want right. to cast a line way out into the right. deepest end of the right. water, right? Right, yes. Because the message he just sent was to any team in doubt about his quarterback that, hey, I just might reconsider. He said, who knows what could happen over the next six months? Well, it's happening already to you yeah. because I believe it hits you like 10 tons of bricks that that you're still playing at the highest level and you're healthy. Mm -hmm. And now you've had three days to go sit at home and try to, <laughs> to work your Zoom meetings for all of your investments and, and everything you've right. got going, your portfolio. Your fitness app and all yeah, that and stuff. And all yeah. that stuff. And you know what? It ain't no fun. Mm -mm. And this is Super Bowl week, and you've been ten times the center of attention in 10 Super Bowl weeks where you were internationally right. famed, right? Yes. You, you were you were known the worldwide. Right. You were the center of Super Bowl attention. Right. And all of a sudden you're not. Right. And you're starting to find out what anybody finds out in the first few months. All of a sudden you're, you're not that big a deal anymore. Nobody really cares what you're thinking or what you're posting. Yeah. Nobody really, really cares like they used to right. care. And he clearly is having second, third, fourth, fifth yeah. thoughts to where, look, if, if now I'll go back to my head, is it possible that he, he can be, you know, a kidder on social media? He likes to toy with everybody. He likes to, to, to have fun with everybody. Is, is this just a, a little sort of promotional ploy on his part? To drop a little hint, knowing that the 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 sports media world will go into a frenzy. A if that was the case, why would he do it at this moment? This is Matthew Stafford. I this know. Is Joe I, Burrow. I agree because he's team. not built like that. Exactly. He, so he doesn't do that. I think he he is scrupulous in trying to let the others have their it, moment. But here's the thing, Skip. He could have easily postponed both decisions to retire and possibly unretire until after the game. Absolutely. He didn't he didn't have to tell anybody. Skip. Okay, I think his hand got called on the first one. Really? Yeah, because I think because of the ESPN report, Adam Shepard yeah, and Jeff yeah, Darlington, yeah, no. that, that he felt pushed into, okay, I give up, but I retire. But here's the thing, Skip. You mentioned it. 
him retiring was not a 24-hour decision. No. It didn't happen all of a sudden no. because he lost to the Rams. You're thinking about this throughout the course of the season. Nobody knew. So you didn't tell anybody. So therefore, you didn't have to tell anybody that you were contemplating retirement. No. You could have easily waited. You knew no. there were only two weeks left. Yep. Three weeks, excuse me, three weeks left in, before the Super Bowl. You could have easily waited. You know now this is going to be the story that's bigger than the Super Bowl. And guess what? I'm going to give it a week. I give it one week. Tom Brady's going to post on IG, him with a football, him working out with Guerrero. That's what's going to happen. And then what? All of a sudden, it's coming back again. Is Tom coming back? Isn't he coming back? For a guy that didn't want a farewell tour because it was going to take away, it was going to be a distraction, not only for him, but for the team, the guy's doing a lot to distract and get gain attention and distract and take away from the Super Bowl. Yep. Okay. So if you dissect his statement, if you try to, to parse it out, pick it to pieces, it's, it's one conflicting sentence after another where each sentence says, I don't think I'm going to come back. Right. But you never know. I, I almost certainly won't come back, but, but who knows how I'll feel in a week or three weeks or six months. Right. And it just goes back and forth like that for, for about, yeah. about 10 sentences. Uh -huh. And one sentence caught my eye, but I try to make the best possible decision I can in the moment, which I did last week. So, so he's admitting under the circumstances, under fire, under the, the, the fallout from the ESPN report, I made the best decision I could at that moment. But, Skip, the decision had already been made. They were saying Tom Brady is leaning towards retirement. So his decision was made. The fact of the matter that someone in his inner circle leaked it to Adam Schefter or Jeff Darlington, that shouldn't have changed his mind. He didn't have to do I, I get it. And I said what he wanted to do was want to control it. He wanted to step to the... No, well, he might have not went to the podium, but he wanted to release it on IG, Skip, under his own terms. He did. Well, when someone else beat him to the punch, now everybody everybody else is a liar. His dad come out. Tommy has not made a decision. That is true. His Don G come out. I'm not going to get into the accuracies or the inaccuracies. Everybody is trying to, to circle the wagons. He did. Knowing good and well, Tom had already made the decision. But, you, Skip, even though he wasn't going to be, there's nothing you can do now. Once somebody has already reported it, it's done. It's just like Michael Jordan. When Michael Jordan came back, what did he do, Skip? He sent a fax. Ain't nobody know. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. Skip, so guess what? But that's classic 23, man. Uh, that's, uh, Tom should have... Tom should have... Hey, Tom should have just... Hey, the emoji. I pitched him out. But, Shannon, if you had asked me 24 hours ago if Jim Gray on the podcast that is yesterday... You're right. If he asks him... Would you reconsider? I would have told you 24 hours ago the biggest, fattest N.O. you could get. Right. Where it's, it's, it's not what Brady, Brady doesn't right. reconsider. He, plunge, he, he decides and he plunges and it's over. Right. And it just felt so over from the statement that he posted yes. on IG. Because he said he, did, he didn't feel he could give to the game what it deserved. It was now time for the new generation to take up the mantle. In the end... Is it possible that that he just reconsidered and said, this is not making me happy to sit at home right, right. now? I, I, he knows that, you know, the, the, the line he had last year was about, it's going to be hard for me to sit home and watch TV and watch quarterbacks play, and I know I'm better than them. And yet you said, you'll always think that. Yes. Like Brett Farr probably still thinks that yes. right now. Yes, yes. But I think Brady could think that about just about anybody yes. right now mm -hmm. and believe it in his right. heart. Right. And because of that, because maybe he watched the, the championship games and just said, hey, I, what am I doing? Maybe he, he woke up yesterday and said, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not sure about this. Maybe it's the first glimpse into Tom Brady is human right. that we've had. Well, Skip, he, he saw the week, the, uh, the same week, Ryan Tannehill played like he played. He saw the next week that Patrick Mahomes, how he played in the second half. You got he it. He saw Jimmy Garoppolo Look, lead you, the team and how he collapsed and, in the and second you, half. You once uh, speculated that, that he, his line was about, <laughs> about Jimmy that G. guy. I told you, I, I think the A.B., meltdown blow up the Antonio Brown. I think it really got him mm -hmm. because he he worked so hard 
to make Antonio kind of his partner, you know, like like mm -hmm. somebody he could really trust. And then that happened mm -hmm. at Jets. And it happened just on the eve of the playoffs. And it hurt them. Obviously, they lost a, a key cog in the passing game. Right. And it just felt like he's seeing the handwriting because they got a whole exodus of free agents. Yeah. They're going to have a hard time. Yeah, next but year. here's the thing, Skip, and this is the problem that I have. Wasn't nobody talking about no distractions last year when they were winning. Nope. Everything was hard with kumbaya. Oh, we coming back and uh, uh, Clyde Christian is running his yap. We're going to be better. Brady's going to be better. This offense is going to be better. His second year, everybody knows what the, the defense, we're bringing everybody back and we're going to be better. And I said the same thing then that I said now. So while you guys are getting, be, getting better, what are the other 31 teams going to do? You know, man, you know, Tom, and them, they're trying to get better down there. So we might as well just sit back on our high horses and let them get better. Everybody's trying to get better. Now, all of a sudden, you didn't get to what you wanted to get to. Now, all of a sudden, we had some distractions. We had dissension in the locker room. Well, maybe they did. The issue, you still had the same issues. But winning masked a lot of those issues. Mm -hmm. And when you lose, now, all of a sudden, everybody's bickering. What you get, Skip, when you win a championship, everybody believes they're the reason why you won that championship. I got it. People that cut the grass, say, man, you know how I cut that grass just right. It was a quarter of an inch, that not a half. Correct. I agree. You got the people that cooking, the, the janitorial services. I agree. Everybody wants to be responsible. Yep. Okay, nah, bro. It, it's hard to repeat. That's why it's been so few teams. Skip well, that. Been... You, you did it. Yes. You know what it feels yes, like. Yes, it's hard. Okay. So, y you were shocked. Y you bet a bunch of cases of Diet do against all those guys coming back because right. you said. They, they earned their money elsewhere. Yes. They just won yes, the championship. Yes, yes. Starting with Shaq Barrett. Shaq Barrett came back and Levante David resigned. Chris Godwin, they put Chris Godwin on a franchise tag so he couldn't leave. Yeah. And Dominican Sue came back. So I, I get Leonard it. Leonard Fournette, Leonard Antonio Fournette. Brown. I get they it. all came back. You're very familiar in the situation, Skip. That's a system that I'm familiar with. I don't have to learn a new system. No tax, no state income tax mm -hmm. in that state. Florida. I got Tom Brady. I, okay. I, I get it. All right. I, I get it. But it felt like he was casting his line into the water for another team to contact him and say, hey, would you consider us? He yeah, had the contract with got, Tampa. He's got one more year. Yeah. He extended for salary cap purposes. Mm -hmm. I told you last week, if, if it came to this, if I, I'm going to do the hypothetical that I threw out, if San Francisco came to grips with you know, we, we've got to part ways with Jimmy G, and we're not quite sold that Trey Lance is completely ready to go as our everyday starter. Mm -hmm. Is it possible? Because that was Tom Brady's childhood team, right? He okay. grew up in the shadow of Candlestick Park, loving Joe Montana okay. and the 49ers. Well, I traded Jimmy G for Tom. Okay. All right. Well, that's the kind of thing that could happen. <laughs> well, well, seriously, would they take that as a stopgap? They might. Okay. Or would they just let Tom out because... I'd say he did them a favor, choosing them. Yeah, I appreciate it, but no, yeah. I'm not going to be No, able to you're not going to let, let him out? Mm -mm. Okay, well, there's a way to figure that out. There's a way for Tom to end, if he wanted to, to end where it all the, started back in San Mateo. There's a way out of this is Tom to sit his butt home. Did you see that the, uh, 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 the, the tuck rule 30 for 30? You see that big old palatial estate Tom had on the water backed up to the, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the canal? Uh, 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 33,000, how big the house is? I think it's St. Jetersburg. I think that was Jeter's old it house. It was, yeah. I mean, come on. He, he's renting. But he just I saw he just bought a plot of he land did. down in Miami he on did. Billionaires on Billionaires Row, somewhere, okay. what they call it. I think he's got houses all over yeah. the place. Yeah. Skip, enjoy your life, man. He's just haunting you, and he's not going to leave you alone. And you sat here on the day the news broke when Jenny interrupted us to say, yeah. we have breaking news. You got tears in your eyes yes. because the league didn't force him to quit. He just opted right. out. It, it wasn't like they made him say well, no he, he ain't getting no more tears because mm -hmm. he up there playing now. I thought it was fin final. Mm -hmm. Now he going back and forth. I'm in. I'm out. I'm in. I'm out. Stop it. Mm -hmm. And I, get up there, I give it a week. Two weeks max. You're going to see him throwing the football. He's going to be on the beach with those little bands. You're going to see him mm -hmm. working out with Guerrero. It's coming. Okay, so I'm going to answer Jenny's question to close this up. Scale of 1 to 10 on a comeback. I'm, I'm going to go up to a 5 right now. I'm going to go halfway because I don't know enough to know, but I'm going to go halfway up to he's right on the cusp. He's teetering on the brink 
of coming back. Yeah, I mean, it reminds, sure reminds me of another guy last offseason that mm -hmm. you said loved attention. Yeah. Are you willing? Are you willing to say Tom Brady? What loved I'm not his? willing to do is put that guy, Aaron Rodgers, in the same breath with Thomas Edward Patrick what Brady about Jr. What about attention? Mm. Can you put them in the same breath, the same I category? think there's some yeah, attention no, some. deficit here. Yeah, I will give okay, you that. Okay, I will okay, give I'm you that. Checking. I also think there's a heart of hearts saying, you know what? I'm just not ready to stop this because I'm playing at the highest level. Ain't nobody forced you to stop. You'd stop on your own because okay. you said there are extenuating circumstances that needed you, that required all of your attention, maybe and it the, wasn't football. Maybe for the first time in Tom Brady's life, he made a mistake. Yeah, how about I that? mean, how many days do we have here? And Tom... Tom knows that we're all going to talk about this. Yeah, he knows it. it on his podcast. Upstage That's in the what Super Bowl. I keep going back to. Uh, all right, well, <laughs> we're going to reopen the door. Maybe Tom is coming back. Uh, it's never done with Tom Brady. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.